welcome to Amazing Series. I'm your host, Amai, and I'm coming to you from the historic city of Lalibela in Ethiopia. Apart from Lalibela, we're going to see different parts of Addis Ababa and speak to the people who are truly transforming communities here. Come and let's see what Ethiopia has to offer. Ethiopia. It remains the only uncolonized terrain of Africa, and its real beauty lies in its beautiful architecture, the tenacious marathon runners, and the people who have such pride and love for their music and their culture. And there's no way I can bring Amazing Series all the way to Ethiopia and not introduce you to their music. Now, one of the musicians we're going to meet is called Natima. He's captured the airwaves, he's captured the arts, culture. Everyone is talking about Natima. So of course, if they're talking about him, I have to talk about him too and introduce you to the man who is making music so, so sweet and soulful in Addis. His name is Natiman. Natiman, thanks for joining us. Okay, thank you for inviting me to your show. Natiman, I was just introducing you as someone who, your music has taken um, Ethiopia and really the region by storm. What inspires your music? Actually, I'm inspired by the surrounding that I see every day, especially the nature. That's, a, that's what inspires me. I visited Addis Ababa, I visited Ethiopia, and I loved your country, it's very beautiful. But I know it has some serious challenges, poverty, uh, that's not the entire story, but if I was to give you, say, a million dollars, <laughs> what would you use the million dollars for? I believe that education is the key for, you know, the development of one country. So, in our continent, especially in East Africa, there's a, a, this a shortage, shortage of uh, knowledge, so, um, I would say that I will build schools for the countryside and everything. Hey, by the way, that's my plan. Even if you're not giving me the check, <laughs> I'll do it by myself in the future. It's got some things. I listened to your CD and my favorite so far on the CD is number two, Shanghai. And uh, the other one that I really liked was number 12, Libe. Yeah. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well, but <laughs> I really, right. really, really like the song. What made you write those two songs? Uh, let me start from Shanghai, the track number two. By the way, it's the popular song in Ethiopia. Too. That's the big hit. Both of them are the big hit in Ethiopia. Uh, to tell about Shanghai, uh, it's in English you can say it's a flattering ta tongue. It's like um, when somebody asks you about, uh, a comment about his work, uh, when, when, when you tell him the comment uh, in front, you will say it's good, it's perfect. But at the back of him, you'll say, oh, this is bullshit. So I, I, exp I, I I'm, I'm acting on that song at the one, uh, as I'm the one uh, who's, who's, uh, who's the pretender, you know. Uh, that's oh, the whole idea. so it's actually it's talking about hypocrisy. Uh, yes, hypocrisy. And why do you think it's become such a hit in Addis? I think everybody is like that because so, when someone came to you and asked you about, about a comment, you uh, no one tell 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 the real comment, the truth. Yeah. You know, everybody pretend to not to be hidden by that, that yeah. hated by that person. So uh, that's why that becomes a big hit. And when we come to Lip Bay, uh, we call it Coupe de Cale. We took the rhythm from the West Africa, Cote d'Ivoire, yeah. uh, and we had some French. Uh, lyrics in it uh, with my sister Betty and uh, my friend Stefan. Uh, that's a, a, club, a club song and it's, it talks about uh, the lady that I love. And um, I'm telling her that I want to play with her because I love her and I don't ashamed of her. So I, I'm, I'm calling her, calling her to join my party. Oh, see, he has a sweet, sweet tongue. <laughs> you, you are, you are, Mr. Smooth Talker. I will tell you this for sure. As I look at you, as you can see, he's good looking. He's a pretty boy. How are you handling the girls? The girls must be all over you. <laughs> the girls must love you. <laughs> uh, but they love me by. By, by my work, by my job, by my career. Yeah, and, and he's a politician too, right? He knows <laughs> no, how to no, answer very no, well, yeah. They love me because I make good music, yeah. They yes. love you because of you as well. <laughs> yes, but uh, most of them knows that I have a girlfriend. Okay. That's why. <laughs> See, he's, he's talented, he's good looking, and he's a philanthropist as well. Natiman, what is next for you in the music scene? My dream is to be big. Especially, I, I, I want to, to promote my country, Ethiopia, as well as the, 
the athletes promote our country. I, I, I want to promote my country, East, uh, Ethiopia and East Africa by our music. Uh, I want to take it to the higher level and grab the Grammy and say I'm from Ethiopia. Thank you all, all African people that you, also, that you were supporting me. I made it. <laughs> I want to I say this. Man, I mean, I from your lips right into God's ears, I, you have your Grammy speech ready. So next thing you have to do is just walk up the stage. The CD is out. You can find it online, natiman.com, and they're distributing all over the world as well. Natiman, before I let you go, of course, I have to let you just give us a taste of what the Natiman really sounds like. All Take right. it away. You ready? Everybody ready? <laughs> I'm going to go sing this. It's a big message. Check this out. Me get to you, tell me what I want. African youth, can't you see what I want? Me get to you, tell me what I want now. What I want now, what I want, hey. Me get to you, tell me what I want. African youth, can't you see what I want? Me get to you, tell me what I want now. What I want, hey. What I want, hey. Amazing scenes.